Good morning, everybody. Your garage and breezeway we're doing today. This one's six inches thick today for some reason. Styrofoam, radiant heat, 3500, uh, regular floor mix. They're about 32 by 26 for that little breezeway up there. Get my, get, get my mag. Can't pull without a mag. Time for a new mag. Do you guys want to send me a new mag? Let me know. Yeah. No what? No hot digging No. Why do you ask so many questions? I'll ask my own if I don't ask. What does he sound like? Did I ask a question? Nobody answered. Nobody got an We're not quite sure. Hey, if you put on that black deco Crete hat, you'll match. Did you give him one? Yeah. I don't know, you were a little pouty yesterday. No, I was not. You guys thought I was, but I wasn't. I was not negative. You guys think I'm negative, but I'm not. Bitchy. No, I wasn't there. Hey, you ready? Yes. Uh, I thought I got a
Good. Yeah. Do that or I do that or I can flip one. What do you want to do? Make sure we get enough for a pad, then we'll work our way that way. I figured like 18 and a half, so I did get quite a bit extra. I ain't getting anywhere near that. I know. How you doing, Paul? Good. Long little drive this morning. Brian, can I move that over and drop it down? I want to. Well, I know you're busy, but I want to clean it out so you don't leave any mess. Yeah, down a little bit. Yeah, I could get Paul in here. You could, I mean, wherever you think. It's going to take us a minute. You want to just pull ahead and wash? Yeah, we're just going to run down the road. Yeah, I know. You want to roll by that pole? Roll by that pole down the pole, probably? Too many questions. Well, I think that's not right over in the bushes. I there. think so, okay. yeah. Probably, yep. Alright. Hey, you want so to just walk in the reason, The reason we pour like this, I'll yeah. just give you an idea. It, it's more about finishing than it is about pouring. Yeah. So if it did rain later, or if we ran out, we'd rather run out up there where it's just going to be covered with flooring. Okay. 
gotcha. And make sure we get all the garage, you know what I mean? I do now. Okay. Yeah, now that you've explained it. Hey, you, you want to walk these around the corner for me, please? Thank you. Hey, Darren, you checked that right. I didn't set that. Okay. Hold on, guys. Heads up. it right there. Right here? Sure. You okay? Yeah. Feels like it's setting up. Give me there. Go, guys. Good low. <laughs> Whew. He's thick over there. Whew. Yesterday we just beat showers. 11 30. I was afraid I was going to be late getting down here. Freaking ball of the city. Really? Clear from my Costa Rotary. Yeah. Straight. He went straight going to Newcastle. Yeah. All the way to. town in Maine called Booth Bay Harbor. If you look it up on Google. It's a kind of a touristy type place. The town's actually over that way. This is part of it. And this is basically what it's like. It's just a, a coastal town in Maine. You know, a lot of boats being mourned. See the Coast Guard boat out there. And it just follows the coast around for a couple miles. The actual small little village is just right around this I don't know if we can see it from this pier or not. Take a peek. Looks like tide's out quite a ways today. You can see all the seaweed on the rocks. The tide will come all the way up and cover those rocks. Probably comes, we can kind of tell where you have seaweed and where you don't. Yeah, so the tide probably comes up all, all, at least to these rocks here. But everybody, everybody's got a boat down here. Yeah, you can start to see the little village over there. There's all kinds of nice restaurants, kind of touristy. It's a really nice place to visit. They have all kinds of different small vessels, big vessels, little ships come in here, sailboats, lobster boats. Those are lobster pots right there, those little buoys that are all different colors, so there's lobster traps under them. And then the big, the big white ones are just for people to mourn their boats. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's part of the village right there, in that little cove right there. All kinds of little like touristy shops to buy stuff, knickknacks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you can see, it's not like the ocean in the Caribbean where it's like a bright blue. This is like a more of a greenish type ocean color. Not seeing any fish down there right now. <laughs> Anyway, that's where we're working today. This is about an hour away from the shop. So it's right within our, our uh, usual work distance. An hour is pretty normal for us. Can't imagine what a home like this would cost to buy down here. I bet it's in the multi-millions. Some of these, like that one, looks like it's been here quite a while, quite a long time. 
probably a pretty good retirement for some of these people <laughs> unless they want to stay living there all right let's go back stop finish pouring the floor you like it or no a little bit run a little bit see how hard he is yeah i'll get this bay done Probably jump in for a minute. Get this bay down, then we'll give him one for over here. Yeah. Okay, high or low there? Not bad? You need, come along. It's low? Okay. Driving down, two deer run across the back of the lawn. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. That's right, I remember that now. His house was more up on the road, the regular yeah. road, yeah. What, what's he want again? He said he took you up and showed you this concrete pad that went between his barn and his house. He might have, yeah, I don't remember walking up there, but. I got pictures. He wants to know if he can just pour right over it. Yeah. And it doesn't to me look like it's something you want to pour over. Uh, I would. Because if you want it nice. It's not a driveway either. He was having a wedding there or something, wasn't he? I think he's having one on Labor Day there. <laughs> Woo! I'm flattening like a pig. He's like. I just want it like my daughter. You can eat off my daughter's floor down there. Yeah. He goes, I don't want it to slipper. So, uh, I don't need him out. He's like, isn't there someone you can hire that will come in and crush it all right on site? So I can use it for film? McGee, maybe. Or a crooker. I told him crooker, but yeah, there's a crooker. But I'm pretty sure they haul it to their plant crushing. Yeah, probably. Stuff's setting up pretty good on us. That's what we like day like today. We call for rain around noontime, so we want to get this stuff 
setting up and get a finish on it before it rains. Once once the finish is on it, you know, it's all power trials, hard and everything, the rain's not gonna bother it. So it's just getting it to that point. Yesterday was about 11.30 in the morning. So we're hoping for about the same today. Must be like 7.30 right now. Mostly, uh, you break loop. Nope. I'm gonna pull him ahead and set him over just a whisker. He's gonna pull ahead a little bit, Luke. I think we can pull your head a little bit, Paul. Actually, let me just flip it. Thank you. Probably raise it right up, be good for a minute if you want. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit more, Paul. Pull some of that over there. Just to square it in there, we'll scrape it. Yeah. Should be funny, yeah. You want to just pull ahead and wash in the driveway right there? Yeah. Okay. Thought that the mom would have said 51 when we were driving down here. Did it? I think so. On that bank. Don't feel like it. It's hotter. It's humid. Humider. <laughs> All right. Get that thing bowl floated and then it's easy street. Finishing these is pretty easy, unless, unless of course it rains. Let's hope we get it done before it rains today. It's been a whole a rainy week. This is a Thursday. We got another one to do tomorrow. To call for rain. That one's that one's tomorrow's job is like two and a half hours from here. So it's it's about an hour and a half from our shop north in the mountains where the weather is just so unpredictable sometimes coming over the mountains so it'll be a little bit tougher decision tomorrow. Alright, so that'll do it for the four. We got about a 32 by 26 garage, 18 by 12 breezeway. Now we'll just hang out and hit it get it finished today before it rains and we'll be we'll be good to go just fighting the rain sometimes it's hard to make a decision on these stuff setting up pretty good already i don't think we'll be here too long
right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.